Good evening and welcome. This is a special meeting of the Princeton Planning Board on December 6th, 2023. Pursuant to Section 13 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of the time and place of this special meeting has been given by filing a copy with the Clerk of Princeton on the 6th day of November, 2023. Notice that this meeting has been posted to the municipal website, princetonnj.gov slash calendar. Notice that all regular and special meetings of the Princeton Planning Board will be held electronically via Zoom, was transmitted to the Princeton Packet and the Times, and was filed with the Clerk of Princeton on Tuesday, January 17, 2023. Please note that this meeting is being recorded. Since the application that had been scheduled for tonight's meeting is being carried forward due to circumstances that will be explained a little later by our land use engineer, Dan Weissman, there will be no public hearing this evening, and so I will not read the two paragraphs of the opening statement that relate to public hearing protocols. Ms. Phillip, will you call the roll, please? Uh, yes, Ms. Capizzoli? Mr. Chow? Here. Mr. Cohen? Mr. McGowan? Here. Mr. O'Donnell? Here. Mr. Quinn? Here. Ms. Sachs? Mr. Tex Zarni? Here. Mr. Taylor? Mr. Bodekheimer? Mrs. Wilson? Here. We have a quorum. Thanks. So are there any um, planning board members, Carrie, who are in the attendees who need to be brought over? Uh, no, there is no one. Okay, so just keep an eye out um, sure. as that may come up. Um, announcements. Um, I have a quick one, but I will, I understand, uh, here's Mr. Bogenheimer, let the record show. Um, Justin, you want to get us started with a few quick things that I know you have? Mm -hmm. Certainly. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, and good evening, planning board members and members of the public. Um, the, the first, uh, I just have two or three brief announcements. The first one, uh, is on master plan status. Um, Clark Kane Hintz is making the revisions that we stated at the end of the adoption meeting last week. Um, we should get them back, you know, by the end of this week. And at that point, uh, we will have a, a signed uh, sealed document that we can post online and send to the uh, county uh, planning office, as well as the state office of planning advocacy. Um, no updates at this time on implementation committee, but I know things are uh We'll have those discussions as we get into the new year uh, with that new master plan. Um, if there are no questions on that, uh, I could jump into an update on the application at 4042 North 2 Lane. If you remember, uh, this board approved an application there. Um, must have been a year and a half ago at this point or, or almost two years ago. Uh, that, just to kind of briefly summarize this, and I can go into more detail if you'd like, um, the application was approved, then the applicant uh, began work without any sort of permits, uh, and they took down more of the building than they were approved to take down. So our uh, construction department put a stop work order on uh, the, the, the work that they were doing, and we've been working with the applicant to rectify that uh, and see you know, if they wanted to return to the board for a modification of their application. Um, it looked like they were going to do that, but they've since uh, submitted an administrative waiver request to demolish the remaining part of the building. Uh, and we have approved that um, uh, that administrative waiver request. Um, so it, it does not appear that they'll be going forward with that approved project. And then just lastly, um, I, I know uh, Ms. Phillip emailed uh, you all um yesterday about the meeting next week on the 14th uh, it's a regular planning board meeting and as you'll see in a minute even though uh the land one application will not be heard that night we will still have a meeting uh, and we have a courtesy review for an application at uh, uh from the Princeton housing authority at reading circle so just a reminder that we will have that meeting on on december 14th uh back to our thursday night at 7 p.m so I would like to take you back for a minute to 4042 Two Lane. Yep. <laughs> um, that project um, was going to have, I can't remember how many 
dwellings, um, but it had an affordable housing component. Am I am I right about that? And so yeah. when they took down more than they had permission to, they demolished you know, like fully half of the building when they were supposed to demolish just a small portion of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so when they came in to, and that, you know, that caused consternation and conversations to happen, you know, among staff and with the applicant and its contractors, et cetera. Um, so when they came in for permission to just take the whole building down, um, my understanding is that neither the board, no, we weren't in a position to say, no, you may not do that. <laughs> they they had a right to take the building down and then what they're going to build instead is not what we approved, but some, but, but four market rate apartments with no affordable housing component. Well, I, and I, mean, I, I don't mean to be putting words in your mouth. I just, I, I just want the board to sort of understand the bigger picture here because it was pretty um, disconcerting how it all played out. They would have to return to the board for any sort of future developments. We don't know at this time uh, what they would be looking to do. Okay. Uh, one thing we do know is if they take down the remainder of the building, uh, they abandon any, any uh, right to use the affordable housing overlay too uh, that they were using for the previous approval. Um, yeah. and then they would revert to the underlying zoning, which would be similar, uh, to what you had just mentioned, a, a multiple, uh, uh, attached dwelling building. Um, I believe, uh, the zoning off the top of my head is, uh, I want to say neighborhood business or residential business. Um, but that would be, uh, one of their options. They just don't have an application in now. And if they were to have an application in for, Anything other than a, a single family home or a duplex, it would come back to uh, this board or, or potentially the zoning board. Okay. okay. So at this point, it appears to be more of just securing the site, uh, making it safe, you know, especially as we get into the winter, rather than having that that building uh, or, you know, less than half of a building uh, with a stop work order and a chain link fence around it. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks for a little more context. Any any questions for Justin on any of the announcements that he made? Um, okay. I just wanted to quickly let the board know that um, Justin and um, Tim and I, Tim, this being the last few weeks of Tim's term, um, and uh, which makes me very sad, but um, I won't begin to weep at this very moment. Um, uh, we're going back to take a um, another run at the rules and regulations. We actually had made good progress going through those to uh, recommend some very common sense updates. Nothing, um, nothing that doesn't very obviously <laughs> need to be updated about the rules and regs, which I think last were updated in 2013. Um, so we're hoping to finish up that effort, um, get through the rest of the, um, you know, the last third or so, I think, of the um, of the rules and regs document that we haven't tackled yet and bring a revised set to the board sometime in early 2024 with a thorough description of what is changing, <laughs> what's recommended to be changed and with plenty of time, of course, for board members to look at it ahead of time. But I just wanted to let folks know that we were back at that. Um, thank, you. thank you, Madam Chair. I would only add to that that um, I think it'd be wise to invite Mr. O'Donnell to participate in this as the head of the, the procedure. Oh, of course, committee. yes. Um, in this, yes. uh, we'll, we can send them the marked up document, which I, I believe we got more than halfway through and we'll invite him to our um, corner booth where we do board business <laughs> with, uh, yeah, where the officers do business. So um, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Tim, for bringing that up. Yep. Uh, Owen is chair of the procedures committee and his, uh, 
And so he he gets to he gets to do this work too. <laughs> okay. Looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, good, good. Um okay, other announcements. Um, or do we have any subcommittee reports? I don't think so. Okay, let's dive into four sets of minutes. Um, first, the minutes of July 6th, 2023. This was a regular meeting. Any questions or corrections with those minutes? And if not, um, would someone move them and second? I'll move approval. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. I'll second. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't see the. It was Phil, Mr. Chow. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any abstaining? Okay. Um, next up, we have the minutes of July twentieth, twenty twenty three. This was a regular meeting. Any corrections or edits? If none, would someone like to move them? So moved. Moved Second. by Mr. Bogheimer, seconded by Mr. Quinn. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Oh. aye. Any opposed? Abstaining? Okay. I wasn't present. Okay. Um, next up, we have September, the meetings of, excuse me, the minutes from the meeting of September 7th, 2023. This was a regular meeting. Hey. Oh, that was fun. The zoning board is about to start. So for some reason, they kicked us off. So we have, oh. to get, uh, we have to get through everything pretty quick. I think we have to wait until everyone joins us, though. Uh, wow. You know, we were, we've were we been doing Zoom for so long, and I think this is the first time it's ever happened like this. Yes. Woo, that was exciting. Ah, uh, Okay. <laughs> Booted, so, by, booted by ZBA. Yeah. To, uh, How dare get, they? We, we didn't get the variants. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting territorial. Um, Alvin has not yet joined us. He's the only one, I think. Okay. Did he get a text? Because I tried a, a few times to rejoin and, and kept getting a rejection. Uh, I could try to contact him right now. There we go. Here's Alvin. Okay. And just members of the board and members Our, of the public. Martine is joining us too. She'll be here soon. Okay. I, I apologize for that. We had a Zoom issue. Uh, we're having this meeting on Wednesday night uh, because of Hanukkah tomorrow night. So there's a few different meetings going on right now. Uh, and just a technical issue there. Sorry about that. Okay. So we'll wait. Here comes Martina. Great. Okay, we're all here, except Alvin. He's no, here. Alvin is. Alvin is. Oh, is oh. he? Oh, he did was. he? Did he, he was, did join? Maybe he. Then he just left again. Well, let's. Um, were we on the September seventh? Oh, okay. Have we they been? Oh, we that's right. You had just raised your hand, Carrie. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it was brought to my attention tonight. Thank you very much, Owen. Um, the dates that I reference in the minutes, the March 2nd, April 13th, the wrong dates were referenced within the body of the motion. So that's the only change that was recommended. And I will make that change accordingly. Props to Owen's sharp eyes. Um, so Alvin, um, I think that you had bounced back off when um, when Justin offered this explanation, but because uh, we're meeting the same night as zoning board and some other boards, there were technical um, duplicate issues, <laughs> which is why we got bounced. But um, okay. here we are back again. Okay, so... Um, so we need a motion for the September for September 7th. 7th, right? Moved by Mr. O'Donnell, seconded by oh, second. oh. by Mr. Mr. McGowan. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
I'm sorry, I don't even need to ask about abstaining, but opposed, okay. And finally, uh, September 21st, 2023 minutes. So moved. Thank Second. you. Thank, uh, moved by Mr. McGowan, seconded by Mr. Quinn. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, thank you. So I am um, going to ask uh, Ms. Phillip to transfer me over to the attendees. I have a conflict, as people know, um, with the applicant um, uh, that with with the Landwin application, and um, so I'll turn the virtual gavel over to Mr. Quinn. Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Bodinger. I, I thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Quinn. I just uh, wanted to say I I have not uh, yet gotten certified on all of the previous Landwin materials, so I'm not eligible to to vote at this point on anything related to Landwin. Thank you. Um, we won't be taking action tonight, so uh, you're, I, if okay. you're willing, I, I urge you to or encourage you to stay and to hear the explanation from Mr. Weissman, which seems a good segue to Mr. Weissman. Before, before there, you do that, Tim, sorry, sure. let me just say, um, just for purposes of carrying this meeting tonight, that proof of um, service and notice is an audit, so the board has jurisdiction. I just want to say that for the record. Um, I understand that we're carrying tonight's application, but but we'll hear from Mr. Wiseman um, as to the, the update. Thank you. And uh, this board has had jurisdiction since February 7th, 2019. So since I've become the keeper of calendars here, that's uh, 1,763 days ago. Uh, and there is yet another um, in a series of delays with this application uh, that involves stormwater. And uh, we became aware of this um, right before the master plan meeting and met on Friday. And so I'm going to ask uh, land use engineer Dan Weissman to update us on uh, these new developments. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, so at this time, the municipal stormwater management consultant still is unable to deem the application compliant with the stormwater control ordinance. Um, there are outstanding items that are identified in Mr. Scoopian's October 31st report. Uh, staff understands that the applicant is working diligently to resolve them, and we're going to continue to work closely with the applicant to make sure that they can present a compliant system. Um, but uh, similar to the, the previous meeting, um, to maintain compliance with, with Princeton's MS4 permit, that's municipal separate storm sewer system, um, the board may not take action until this application, uh, on this application until these issues are resolved. Uh, just some, some clarification as to, to what the issues are. Um, there is the issue with the dam classification that was discussed at the last meeting, um, which still remains outstanding. Um, and then there is a complex groundwater mounting analysis that uh, is going to need to be performed by the applicant. Uh, we understand that the applicant has uh, obtained some additional professionals uh, to help shepherd them through this process. Um, and we're happy to work with the applicant and we'll continue to do so to make sure that uh, things are done in accordance with our regulations. Thank you, Dan. And uh... If I'm correct, this will require the municipality to engage the services of a of a mounding analyst of our own, correct? Since that, Mr. that's, that's outside correct. of Mr. Scoopian's area of expertise. So um, we'll be meeting another expert in the new year. Yes, that is correct. Um, the municipality understands uh, the applicant's urge to get this work done. So we're we're working diligently to get that consultant on board, um, hopefully, with, you know, soon so we can we can get on the same page as to the criteria that's needed um, for this. It, it, it's a groundwater mounting analysis that incorporates multiple uh, stormwater management systems and how their mounds affects each other. Um, the current spreadsheet that's used for groundwater mount, mounting analysis only analyzes one basin at a time. Okay, thank you. So um, 
Martina, for the for the record, uh, the board won't take formal action. The with uh, I believe it's been worked out with um, with the applicants council, uh, Mr. Letizia, who's here, uh, that this will be carried to the February 1st, 2024 meeting, at which point the board will have clarity on when um, on when it might continue with the formal hearing. There will be board members who will need to be get caught up to speed on the application. And uh, being that we're, you know, 1700 days into this, I imagine that'll take some time. So um, formally, we are carrying till February 1st. And uh, there won't be any any additional notification, if I'm correct. Stop me if I say anything that's incorrect. No, that's correct. That's right. Okay. Mr. Uh, Justin, I think. Sure. Mr. Lesko. Yeah, it would be the January 18th meeting. Oh, okay. I was reading the... the... Uh, Bruce Afrin is not available on January 18th. Oh, okay. So I read, the... read on February 1st. The schedule that was uh, carried distributed to the board this afternoon had the February first date in okay. there. So my apologies. will happen today. That, well, but that's the good news for you, Mr. Lesko, is that the the class two members should all be on board by then, uh, and you'll be fully fully stocked and ready to go. So I believe that uh, given that this board has no additional business um and being that councilman cohen is not here um we are not having public comment there's uh a hand up in the attendees um in the attendees uh since we're not taking action i i don't think that we should have a public comment uh period would that be correct uh martina yes that's correct okay thank you and phil chow has his hand up yeah um i i, I submitted my uh, or i tendered my resignation letter from the board uh to louise earlier so i do want to just uh, announce my resignation um uh i i wanted to stick through uh with the master plan and stick through with uh with uh lanwin but uh, i think with the, with carrying it, I, 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 I talked to Louise and it was, I didn't want to stick, stick with it just to hold on with the uh, land win. Uh, but I do want to say it's been an, a real honor, pleasure to work with you all. The, the, you know, it, it was such a great learning experience for me and to see the dedication, the knowledge, the, the, uh, what is it? The fairness, the the ability to work with the public, was incredible uh, to see from from this team, and um, I'm just grateful, honored, and humbled by all your efforts. You know, you're all volunteers, um, or the board is all volunteers, uh, and I just want to acknowledge um, uh, it was a wonderful experience, and very thankful. Um, do you want to acknowledge the staff, just a real professional, you, you work in in a town that's really dedicated to um, democracy, to making the town the best place to live in, in the state. Uh, so thank you for all your efforts and, you know, real shout out for Justin to, you know, stepping in after Michael left and really you know, leading us through this master plan process, which is uh, just so impressed with with your efforts. So um, I hope uh, I'm retiring in a few years. So um, I do hope to stay somewhat involved over the next few years and maybe come back to the board when I fully retire. Uh, and and um, yeah, so thanks for everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, it, uh, I will hand the virtual gavel back over to uh, to 
to Chair Wilson for the remainder of the meeting. Uh, since thank we you. Are, since we are through with uh, any additional discussion on Limewood. Yeah, thanks. Um, and I, and thank you, Justin, for seeing my text saying, please bring me back over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not sure whether whether Phil would make his announcement tonight or not. And and um I just want to say what what a great pleasure it has been to serve with you. You your your expertise in energy programs and policy and your you know experience and keen interest in bike ped infrastructure and everything. And just your good judgment and great questioning ability has <laughs> been um, just such an asset. And I'm really grateful. I, I know these, you know, carving out time, especially these last couple of years, has been really, really difficult. And um, uh, and you've hung in for some long meetings and I'm really grateful to you for that. And uh, so... I, I look forward to your retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Yeah. I hope I hope you do stay um, stay involved. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely want to contribute to the community. Yeah, so thanks. Good. Just to echo what um, what the chair said. A real pleasure, and I'll see you around the neighborhood. I will <laughs> jump down. Yep. Well, Phil, um, since uh, David isn't here. All right, I move to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that on. <laughs> Big Who shoes to Phil, but I knew you could do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Thanks, Owen. All in favor? Aye. Um, aye. See we'll you next miss week. you, Phil. Miss you very much. Happy Hanukkah to all whom that might apply. Yes, yes. Happy Hanukkah. And all right. See you next see week. See you next week. Thank yeah. you. Night. Night.